Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're playing 2-5 cash games, buying for this game's $500. Um, here we get button open, 3-bet the ace-queen suited. Gets called, uh, flop top pair here, backdoor flush draw as well. Start with a small bet. Get raised a min, kind of scary. Um, I'm thinking about just jamming this, so if we call, there's like just about pot behind, and also when we're out of position, it's going to allow them to check back to realize what they're drawing hands, whereas we can just get it in here. So this might be an overplay in my spot. Um, I'm trying to make them have to cough with their draws. Oh, they flat a base king pre. Wow. Okay, so sometimes we do that as well. <laughs> we just spike the queen. Uh, so sometimes we do value our own ourselves against ace king. So they are mostly going to be four betting, but they will have some frequency of flatting there. Um, I think the get in was okay. It, it, the bigger their raise would have been, the more I like it from out of position. Um, against like the min click, I'm maybe not supposed to, but... Like I said, part of the concern is like if they have the big draws, they can just check back, turn a ton in position. Whereas if like it's hard to talk about the hand if it's flipped, but like say I open the button and they're in the big blind, they check raise us, we would just call because we get to close the action. Uh, small blind opens here, three bet the queens. Uh, playing a little over sixty blinds effective here. We flop top or middle set. Sorry, uh, maybe a small bet. Boy, we're betting a ton here. Really nice to have queens as opposed to kings. So the reason being that we don't block their top pairs which is really good. And then given their stack size here, probably just going small in the turn again, and then just really don't want to see a spade, but either way, we'd be jamming river. So if we're deeper, we're not going to go small here. This is indicative of the stack sizes. And river seems pretty good. Now, if they have like a weak, even like a weaker king they're playing, they're only really losing ace king plus, they jam, we call. Oh my gosh. Ugh. They flat the gigs pre, and then we flop the boat over or set over set. Oh my gosh! Oh, what a bad beat. Two five button opens. We defend big line six four suited. Call a four here. Ooh, turn two pair. Very nice turn card. Um, if they bet, probably start raising, targeting some of their two pairs here. Or sorry, not two pairs. We don't want them to have two pairs at this point. We want them to have the over pairs. So we'll target some of those over pairs. It's a bit of a weaker two pair. But even against a button range, I don't think they're going to have, like... They will have 5-7 in range, but... Not going to have, like, tons of the, the better hands here. So I think this is just good enough to raise. And then if they call, we would mainly not want to see an 8-3 or spade. Oh, man. Once we raise, we can't fold now, but it's a little scary. Set. Oh, boy. What a sad turn card. So, I mean, it's pretty close if we can raise for value on that turn there, but I think we can. And just like really sad to have turned something that's not quite good enough. Curious for feedback there. I'm not 100% sure that was correct, but I think probably okay. So we raise queens, get called. King 9 4, see an overcard here. Start with a bet. If we get called, checking turn pretty much every time outside of a queen, they raise. Uh, I'm going to call one. Turn eight of clubs, check. So there's still some draws out there, obviously, like the spade draws. We block some of like the queen 10, queen jack, though. Don't block spades. Um, pots it, we'll call one more here. And then a 10 river check. Open they check here. I don't think I'm calling if they jam, so they jam for pot. I mean, we block queen jack. Spades do miss. Uh, so basically, what are they repping given the line that they're taking here? I mean, they're basically saying they have like king nine, king four, set of fours. Nine's probably three bets pre. Um, don't have a spade here. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I kind of want to call, but. We would fold the queens without a spade with a spade. I'm trying to think if I want to hero this or not. Um, so the problem is, like, even though we block Queen Jack, it does come in. I'm sure they have, like, Queen Jack of Spades. They can't have Queen Jack of Clubs. Um, I think for now, going to play, I don't have a huge sample on this player, but I think if we fold there. So put in the cold 4-bet with the aces, so it goes open, 3-bet, cold call. This player calls, 9-4-3. Uh, I'm going to start pretty small here. Let's go 10% pot given the SPR. Balls, two on the turn. Um, SPR under one to one. I'm probably going to check here and set the trap on the turn. And if they lead, we just put in the rest here. 
we all in with aces. And they just end up folding. We take it down. Pretty big pot, though. All right, 2-5 here. We raise a limper, get called, and we flop middle set. Great start. Jack-5-2. See the call. Nine of, heart, or nine of clubs turn, sorry. And plans to be over bet turn here. Call river four. All right, ace three comes in. I think it's play that we just jam this. If it's a heart, we might have to make a really nitty check. Going to the over bet turn, but I think here it's just a jam. Hope they have a jack. Maybe the set of twos if they didn't check raise that. So we're gonna be all in. Jamming effectively 474 and a 261. So a bit under 2x pot. And we do see the call with the sevens. Let's go. Fives wins a massive one. Two five. All right, open button, small line, three bets, flatting ace nine suited here. Huge flop top pair at the nine, or the flush draw. Uh, leads into us, just call. Turn the nuts, love to see it. Uh, if they bet, just call. If they check, we'll be betting the turn ourselves. Go for the bet here. We get called. Just don't really want to see a board pair. It's nice to block some boats, though, potentially as well with the ace. Ten River, we've got the absolute stone cold nuts just about pop behind. And give me a super easy jam here, going for it all. Hopefully, they have like an ace 10 here. Or an ace they said just can't fold. Ace King with like the King of Diamonds. So we go for jam. Call, please. Ah, they fold. All right, so still a nice hand for us, though, with the Ace Nine of Diamonds. Cut off opens, three betting jacks here from the big blind. See the call. 10-4-3, uh, start with a bet here. So this is cut off versus big blind. See the call, six turn. Uh, question is, do I check raise here potentially, or just bet again? I think we're gonna try to go for the check jam here. So bet small, stick to the plan. Has to be a little over one to one if we just call here. Uh, so here we're just trying to target ten x. They might call down or like their overs and flush draws stuff like that. So we'll go for check jam, and we just see the fold. Take it down. So we have cutoff open off 180 blinds. We three bet and cover. See the call. Uh, really good start. Top pair, top kicker, king four two. Bet. All queen turn. Um, let's see. King queen actually is not a good turn card here. I'm actually make a really nitty check here. So if we go for three streets, I think it's hard to get like King Jack, King 10 to call all the way down. Um, pots it. Bit scary because we are set up to potentially face a river jam. Um, but on bricks, we probably would have to call. It's really sad if he ends up having queens that fly to pre or king queen, but just call for river. Check. And hoping he's turning like ace five, ace three into a bluff. Can't have ace four diamonds because um, we have the ace of diamonds. So I think it's play we have to call. I expect to be a jammer check. Um, like I said, he is going to have queens. He is going to have king-queen. But I think once we decide to check turn with ace-king, we can't be folding, even though this is a really big pot. Oh, man. Please be good. Oh, king-queen. Just knew it, too. I was just like, that's such a bad turn card. There's no way we're folding the river as we played it, but so frustrating. Uh, so like I said, his best bluffs there going to be like the ace-5, the ace-3s, um, especially with how deep we are pre expect him to flat all those pure. So anyways, because he's going to block like my ace-king check and my ace checks there. Um, just uh, really frustrating to lose a huge pot like that. So we open, get 3-bet. Uh, normally a call, but against a bigger size, I think I'm more leaning towards turning this into a 4-bet bluff. We'll do it here. So getting worse odds to call. Um, so I'm going to be bluffing here. See a call. Ooh, we flop huge. Flop very big. Uh, start with 20% pot here. 
a flop two pair. Call. Five turns, so we lose to a three. Uh, but I don't think we have to be super worried about it. Um, in a four bet pot like this. So we're going to bet again. It's going small again, the Jam River. Just don't want to see a five or a five, basically. Um, six River. So same thing. I think we have to jam here for value, targeting like their ace queen, their ace jacks, stuff like that. There we go for the jam. Again, 3x shouldn't be super relevant here in this 4-bet pot, so we jam, they fold. Take it down, pretty nice pot. Here we open hijack, small blind 3-bets we call. Um, betting flop here, ace-10-10, turn the straight. Um, I mean, in general, I think a lot of times people bet their flush draws. So I think we still try to go for the value here at the queen-jack on a non-heart ace, king, or 10 river. We do lose the boats though too, so if he has like trapped like aces full, that can happen. He can have kings full. Um, so I think we still try to go for this one for three streets. I mean, if he check raises us here, this gets incredibly nasty. Wow, really? Oh, I mean, would you check raise a boat? Lose to the flush too? I mean, I wasn't planning on bet folding, but I don't think he's gonna like rip it in with like ace king here, is he? Uh, I guess that's a consideration. I mean, I probably just have to call it the straight, but I'm not trying to slow roll if that's what it ends up being looking like, but oh, it doesn't feel like we beat a lot. I mean, we do beat Ace King. All right, we're going to call it off. Has Ace Queen, and we're good. So yeah, if McCoy's watching, sorry if it's a bit of a nit roll. Queen 9 suited here against Hijack. We defend. Uh, go for a check raise here. So I've got overcard, backdoor hearts, backdoor straight draw, turn the open ender, over bet turn. And then nine river. Uh, I think I'm gonna use this as a bluff. I think we can probably get him to fold over pairs by the end here. Block the straight, king queen coming in, block some river two pairs. So we're gonna turn this one into a bluff and jam. So basically what are we repping here? Sets of three, sets of twos. Yeah, we do get the fold on the end. So river third pair, but I don't think like super valuable at that point. Um, not sure it's a great bluff, but works out that time. All right, button open, three bet queens get called. Um, nine, eight, four, we're gonna set up check raise on the flop. Betting completely fine as well. So like I said, let's stick to the plan here. Go for check raise. Jams call, queens, nines, ugh, flop top set. Oh, that's really frustrating. <laughs> top set versus the over pair, three bet pot. Sometimes just gonna get stacked there. I think the check raise is fine, and obviously once we check raise, just getting in when they jam. Uh, gonna check raise, flush draw, gut shot, bottom pair here. Back seven of hearts, calls, ace turn. Go for the over bet here. Hopefully don't get jammed on. <laughs> get the call, and then I'm gonna be pretty honest on river. Um, hit the straight. Um, do we try to bluff catch? I don't think so. I think we just jam and go for value targeting his like flop sets or his two pairs here. Um, it's gonna be a good spot. Usually you don't wanna use hearts a ton, but on these four liners it makes sense too. So we're gonna jam our value here. Get snapped off, chop it up, they have pocket jacks. All right, YouTube, that wraps up another cash game session here. So we played for six hours at 2-5 and 1-2. In the 2-5 game, 1,371 hands minus 200. 1-2 game, 1,231 hands plus 527. Total profit plus 326. Nice win here today. Pretty wild session. Lots of interesting hands. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.